Is this made from real lemons? Yes. I only like all natural fruits and beverages, organically grown with no preservatives. I'll buy a cup if you buy a box of my delicious Girl Scout cookies. Are they made from real Girl Scouts? Well, Christmas came a little bit early for me today. Well, I guess I should correct that and say Halloween came a little bit early for me today. Netflix announced today that Tim Burton will be directing a live action television series for them called Wednesday, based on the character of Wednesday Adams from, from the Adams family. Titled Wednesday, this coming of age comedy is going to be written by Smallville creators Al Go and Miles Millar and it will be directed by Burton. The series will be a sleuthing, supernaturally infused mystery, charting Wednesday Adams' years as a student at Nevermore Academy. That's where she attempts to master her emerging psychic ability, thwart a monstrous killing spree that has terrorized the local town, and also solve the supernatural mystery that embroiled her parents 25 years ago, all while navigating her new and very tangled relationships. No cast has been announced yet, but we do know that Tim Burton likes to work with the same group of actors, even if they just do like small roles. So that makes us wonder about the possibility of seeing Christina Ricci in the series. Christina, of course, played Wednesday in the two Adams Family movies. We'll certainly have to ask her about that when she comes to our September Monster Mania show in Hunt Valley, Maryland. Uh, we're also wondering if there's a, any chance we'll see Lisa Loring who played Wednesday in the original 1964 series. Tim Burton, when he did the 2012 Dark Shadows film, he brought a lot of the original actors from the television series to do like cameo roles in that. Quite honestly, it wasn't his best work. As a big Dark Shadows fan, I really was disappointed with the film and I know most other people were also, but uh, I'm super, super excited about this news. I'm a long time, Adams Family fan. If you pick up the latest issue of Monster Mania magazine, Rob Dimension and I took up opposing sides of which was better, the Monsters or the Adams Family. I, of course, said the Adams Family. I've been a longtime fan of that show through all its different incarnations. I, I like the original 60s television show the best, but I liked a lot of the other Adams Family projects too. The Raul Julia two films, as I mentioned. Uh, they were very well received. I liked the Tim Curry, Daryl Hannah, 1998 made for television movie called Adams Family Reunion. I really liked Tim Curry's portrayal of Gomez Adams. So it looks like 2021 could be the year of the Adams Family again. We're supposed to be getting the sequel to the 2019 Adams Family animated film, this time titled Adams Family 2. That's supposed to be coming out in October, just in time for Halloween. So looks like things are turning up Adam's family this year, which certainly makes me really, really happy. I can't wait to see what Netflix does with this. I thought Netflix did a fantastic job with Sabrina the Teenage Witch. When I first heard about it, I really didn't expect that I would like it. But when I saw first couple episodes of it, I was just like totally blown away. Much, much, much better than I ever expected. And if they were able to do that with Sabrina, I can't wait to see what they do with Wednesday. What I like about this announcement is just everything. It's got Tim Burton doing his first television directorial debut. It also is written by Smallville creators Al Go and Miles Millar. I thought Smallville was really, really well done. Uh, it wasn't a comedy, so it, it'll be interesting to see how well they handle the comedy. It'd be also interesting to see how well they blend with Tim Burton and what Tim Burton's take on the Adams Family would be, but I am super psyched. Can't wait to see this. My guess on this is that the Wednesday actress is probably gonna be somebody that's not extremely well known, but I am super psyched by this news. Best news I've heard in a long time. But let us know what you think. Who would you like to see cast in the role? What's your expectations of this? Are you a diehard John Aston original Adams Family fan like I am? Do you prefer the Raul Julia films? Let us know what you think. 
So if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. I know it was short, but uh, I just got the news today. There's not a whole lot of information as far as cast and everything, but I thought it was worth putting out this video. If you're a Monster Mania convention goer, you just got a nugget of who one of our guests are going to be for our Hunt Valley show. If you haven't subscribed already, please do subscribe so you don't miss any of our future content. In the meantime, keep watching horror and stay scared. Hey, horror fans. Looking for something scary to add to your collection? Stop by the Monster Mania store and see what we have to offer. Just go to monstermania.net and click on the link at the top for the store. We've got everything a true horror fan might need. Check out our apparel for some awesome Monster Mania hoodies, t-shirts, and beanies. Check out our horror game section, where we have the brand new Friday the 13th game, the new horror edition of Trivial Pursuit, and various other horror Monopoly and Clue games. If you're looking for a good read, pick up the latest issue of Monster Mania magazine. And if you're looking for some great collectibles, we have everything from an assortment of Jason masks, mystery boxes, and a wide selection of hand-signed autographs from many of the top horror film and television stars. Each autograph item comes with our Monster Mania authentication, complete with numbered tamper-proof Monster Mania hologram and a matching certificate of authenticity. We're also adding new items every day, so check back often. Shop smart. Shop S-mart. You got that?